For today's little tip and trick, we're going to be looking at column validations in SharePoint. In uh, my previous video, I actually spoke about list validations, and this one will look at specific columns. So let's go to our custom list. Now, what I'd like to validate today is the use of a valid email address. So I'm going to go to list settings, and I'm going to add the column that I'll use for my email addresses. So I'm going to use just a single line of text. And I'm going to call it email. Now, um, the formula that you are going to use is, is this one, and I'll definitely share it with you in the blog as well so that you can just copy and paste it. But this is the formula that we'll use, and um, it's going to check whether there's an at sign in the email address. It's going to check whether it doesn't start with an at sign, whether there's a full stop after the um, at sign, and whether there's actually characters between the at and the full stop. So it doesn't catch all the funnies, but it's going to catch most of them for you. So if I then scroll down, you'll see that there's a little thing here called column validation. So in column validation, I'm going to copy this text, paste the formula in there, and give a message to the user. So please uh, use a valid email address. And let's go back to our list and see what it does. Okay, so I'm ready to test this. If I select an item and I just go to the detail pane, um, I'm going to just fill in an email address there. So let's say Brom internship.com. Uh, let's see what that does. So Brom internship.com. Um, please use valid email address. Uh, let's try another one at Brom.com. Nope. Let's try another one. Brom at intern and nothing. Let's try that. Now full stop, so that won't work either. Brom at dot com. Nope. Not working. So Brom at intern dot co dot za. Let's have a look. And it works. So there's a beautiful little tip for you today. I'll just uh, show you the code again and hopefully I can add it to my WordPress post for you to use as well. So there is the code that I'll be using. Um, of course, you can just catch up and use those. I just want to look at the font that was used here. So let's just change this to normal Calibri so you can see the spaces. Uh, there's actually the little formula that I used to validate that email address. So I hope that it helps and uh, we'll catch up soon.